Razaban for IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast with me Dynamite Fraser Clark saying Fraser Dynamite Dynamite I just felt like saying it <laughs> that's DDD man come on <laughs> big phrase no I'm all good man I'm all good uh, been a while since I caught up with you how's the healing of the hand since the operation it's coming on really well now um, I never say that all the time but um, it was a big relief this week you know to like finally throw a right hand hit hit the bag first of all with like you know with a bit of force behind it there was no, finished as a good session no pain and then I did a little bit of like light sparring um, I think you know psychologically it's still a bit like when you come back from injury it's always in your head a little bit but you know it's getting there week by week now I've just started like trust, trusting in it trusting it's healed and letting it go so we're on the wrong course now we're doing good it's always difficult obviously it's it's your mechanics it's your main weapon and uh, you go through this extreme procedure where they put you to sleep get it sorted and then all of a sudden you got to think about is it going to be the same again yeah it's a nightmare you know like i can all, all i can do really is say thank you to the um the nurses and the surgeon at derby hospital um they without them i'm trying to think of his name now it's, it's, it's left my head um mr Mr. A, that's what we'll go. Um, yeah, you know what? Because without him, obviously it was a bit of an emergency job. Do you know what I mean? And with the COVID pushback, it was, it was all a bit of a crazy process. But they fixed me up good. And um, yeah, it's a psychological thing. Do you know what I mean? Like I've been injured before. It's not won't be the last time neither. Um, but eventually, you know, the the bit in my head that will just say, you know what? Just just to start letting it go. Weeks and weeks and weeks. The confidence comes, and there we go from there. What's the plans though? So in terms of getting out next you got a date in mind or a month by yeah you know like like i said i've not been like i didn't stop training i've always been training working on different bits and bobs but i think you know there's a there's a certain level you need to get to in terms of sharpness and and ring time sparring and doing the rounds fully 100 percent doing the rounds so i'm looking to be out at the end of july you know i've had a couple of conversations and july 30th if we're going to try and make that happen you know um Two weeks ago, Richard Riapo, great victory. We've got a, a guy there, an athlete who wants to come and, and challenge for world honours. Today, we're here at Coventry. We're almost looking at kind of the next generation, the next, who's going to be that next superstar. Um, anyone you're looking forward to tonight? Do you know what? I think um, the, the guy that won the prize at Chima, I think, you know, every now and then you find them like them rough diamonds. I think, he, I think he's got, I've already seen the driver, he's got a mad following. I think he can, he can definitely fight as well. Do you know what I mean? And just looking at him, he looks like a down-to-earth, humble guy. Works in a shop, tra trains old school. I, I seen like a little clip in his gym. Old school guy gets in there, does the work. Him, um, Corey Gibbs. I see. I seen him. You know, from the, my days on the uh, Team GB when he was young. There, he was. He was unbelievable. You know, the talent when he was young. He was unbelievable. And then he sort of went missing for a bit. But now he won the prize fight. Um, a prize fight. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Boxing, Boxing series. So. Um, yeah, I think I think Corey's a good talent as well. But to be honest, tonight's one of the first nights. Obviously, the last fight I'm with Richard, I'm heavily invested because of my gym friend. Jimmy you know I mean? is my friend. Um, tonight, I just want to come and see some good boxing. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot, of, a lot of good talent. On. Sky announced a couple of weeks ago um, the signing of Jose Parker, a heavyweight to the roster. We know the heavyweights has always been thriving over the last couple of years. Um, is that a fight that potentially can happen down the line? Yeah, so it's a long way away from me. Do you know what I mean? I want to know. Joe Park has been a world champion. Uh, Money talks, though. Money talks. Of course it does. Of course it doesn't. But I've got to do the business my end, you know. Um, Joe Park is a great fight, great signing for Sky. I think that's what they need to be looking at now. You know, a couple of headliners, and he can definitely do that. You know, you got to commend him on on being a guy from New Zealand and having such a good following in, in England. You know, he's got a lot of support. Uh, but he's a nice guy. He's funny. He's comical. You look at his Instagram. His jokes. You know, with the videos. Good fight. But definitely one one day down the line. That they're the kind of people I aim for. One hundred percent. I uh, spoke to you just briefly off camera there, Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk did the press conference, looked lively in terms of the promotion and stuff like that. Um, how's that in the gym at the moment? Obviously, we know Angel's there, you work with Angel, but Robert Garcia's coming on. Obviously, obviously, it would have been good for yourself as well to get that experience from Robert. Yeah, you know, like, like I always say this, on every, I'm, a, I'm a sponge. I literally am a sponge. I'm a boxing geek, uh, enthusiast. Um, to, to, to be working close with, first of all, Angel Fernandez, you know, like, I know Robert Garcia is coming in and big props to Robert, he's a good guy, great coach. But Angel Fernandez, you know, he's doing a fantastic job, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just saying this, he's doing a fantastic job of nurturing and controlling the, the camp, putting the sessions together. He's really on top of his game, you know, this guy lives and breathes the fight game. Robert Garcia has all the experience, you know, you need. So to be around these people, boxing enthusiasts, uh, for me it's a dream. 
you've been in the gym for many many years has the mindset changed from Joshua have you seen something different in him in this camp compared to uh, Usyk one 100% I, I think I'm slowly I think that's coming in week by week week by week um, he's a challenger again isn't he Do you know that does a lot for someone's mindset Do you know what I mean when you want, when you want something back it does a lot for your mindset um, he's, you know he's still the same guy he's working hard and you know I'm just I'm just I'm that guy in the gym listen if, if I see any of the lads demotivated or done I'm giving him a push so I'm always nudging Joshua because so this time I want him to be I'm not saying he wasn't last time but I want him to die in that gym give it everything in the gym so then if he goes to Saudi and he gives it everything I know he can I know he can win this fight very difficult fight I know he can win it when you've got power like he has and you can put shots together like he does you can definitely you can definitely do it it's just going to be really difficult but you got to put it all in the gym and he's doing that I saw uh, the, fight, the first fight recap of it a week ago, just to just to wanted to watch it again, and I saw your reaction in the background. You almost you had your hand on your head, I uh, think in you know in that last round. It, it, it's gonna it's gonna go away from Joshua, but I knew it. I knew it from about round, from about round probably. Yeah, I think he had a good round six if I remember rightly, and I thought it but he needs to. These these people are clever, you know. These uh, Usyk and the team they're clever. They ain't gonna let him build a momentum. After round six, I think he had a really good round. Round seven, Usyk come back firing, knocks the momentum out again. It's a whole hill battle again from there. Yeah, and I, I knew I knew he'd lost the fight. You know, there was a few people there, a few of my a few good friends, people I know, boxing people that were giving it the thumbs up, and I was saying, no man, he's lost the fight. He's like, it's sad, but he's lost the fight. Um, but yeah, see, listen, this guy is, is what you call a thoroughbred. You know what I mean, like. He doesn't, want, he doesn't want nothing given to him. He's gonna work. He's working his ass off to, to get back. You know, get that win back. No one likes to lose to anyone. AJ is no different. Um, obviously, Alexander Usyk said on the press conference, "Listen, the goal is undisputed. But to, for him to become or Joshua to become undisputed, they need to fight Fury. Fury needs to come out of retirement. He's got that WBC belt still. He wants five hundred million. Is that just? Is that mind game? Is that realistic? Half a billy. Half come a billy. on, man. Big Tyson's calling the shots, isn't he? Um, yeah, that's too much money. Yeah, where's he getting that money from? Where's he getting from? I know these guys are in Saudi. They they love their boxing, and if this if this show is good, then the five hundred billy could be there. You know, the five hundred uh, mil that could be there in Saudi. Cause he, you know, these lot have got endless money, um, but that's too much. Let's be like realistic. But it is a bit of a pain that it's not straightforward. The winner just goes and fights Fury. He's then got to decide whether he wants to come out of retirement. He just wanted to keep going, but, you know, it's up to him. And he's, he's his own boss. No one ain't telling Fury shit. So um, if he decides to fight again, I think he'll come back and do very well because he's a good fighter. Uh, if not, you know, relinquish the bolts and let everyone else have a go at him. Just finally, before I let you go, I know you're here for the show. Um, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury has been announced. A lot of people were dissing Jake Paul when he started boxing, saying he he, he, he couldn't make it. He couldn't even get to like a southern area level in the UK. Is he fighting a legitimate boxer now? Can we finally say after this fight if if he's good enough? He's fighting a le legitimate boxer, yeah, uh, boxer. But he's, he's still like he's fighting a novice, isn't he? I mean, Tommy Fury is 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 up and coming. Um, it's the, it's the name, do you know what I mean? The, the the Tommy Fury, the Love Island bits and this and that. And you know what? I, I'm I'm Team Fury. I'm all the way, you know. I'm back in the Brit. Hope he goes over and Obi knocks him spark out. Hope he does a job on him. Uh, but what I've said is, Jake Paul, with him being such a novice himself, these people are awkward to fight. You know, believe it or not, some of these novice guys they come out, they do mad things. You know that you you, you can't train for. And he doesn't have it. He does, you know. The thing, he just does little things off, like the tempo he fights at, the rhythm. It's all a bit mad. It could become quite scrappy and quite awkward, I think. So I think I hope Fury Tommy's working on you know like that inside game, grabbing him up and really digging him on the inside, rough him up as well. You know, let him know you're you're in a proper fight now. Um, he's got a good. People. Listen, you don't need me to tell him. He's got great people around him. I'm sure they give him all the best advice and you know bring it back Fury, man. Would you be surprised if Jake wins? Um. In America, for all this money, no, I won't be surprised. If it's close, if it's close, I'd say they'll probably give it to him. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care, really. Anyway, you know, I, mean? I, ain't, I ain't that asked about it. Uh, I'd like Fiori to win, you know, just for the uh, for the sake of he's an Englishman. But these aren't the fights we, do, we care about. I mean, we want proper fights. First o'clock, enjoy your night, and I'm sure we'll catch up very soon with some fight news for yourself. Hopefully, man. Respect. First o'clock, IFL TV. Thank you very much.
Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.